Hey everybody, Pat here again with Electrical Power. Want to come to you today and talk to you about one of Square D's breakers that we sell a lot of these, but we're going to look specifically at cat numbers today. We've kind of drew out a chart, drawn it out for you. This is the F frame right here that we're dealing with, an F frame circuit breaker. The one we're going to use in our example today is going to be the FAL36020. So to locate the catalog number on your circuit breaker, just look directly to the the left of the operator switch, you'll see the, the amperage rating, then you'll see a cat number, FAL36020. Very important that you have the catalog number uh, to get the correct breaker for your application. The F frame essentially is good 15 amps all the way up to 100 amps. There's different configurations, different interrupting capacities, but what we wanna do is we wanna break down each section of each character of the cat number to where you'll know how to define and order the correct circuit breaker for your application. Starting off over here on the left, you've got your first character is for the frame, the actual frame of the breaker, how it will fit. Uh, next you have your, the A on this particular example is gonna be the interrupting capacity. That's your maximum interrupting capacity. So you can see the chart. If this digit was to change to a C, it would be an extra high, like an FC. Moving through the cat number, the next, the third character is your lug configuration. You got an F, an L, a P. It gives you different ways to have lugs on one end or lugs on both ends or actually with no lugs at all. So depends on your application. And then moving on, you've got your character here, a three for the example. That's for your poles. How many poles you have on the circuit breaker? A one, two, or a three pole, real simple. The voltage class. We've got a six here in our cat number, our example. That six means that we're at 600 volt. You could have a four here, that'd be 480 volt, or a two would be 240 volts in this place. Also, the last, uh, but very equally important, is the amperage of your frame. The amperage is crucial. Again, these are from 15 up to 100 amp on the F frame. So if you had a, a 020, like in our example, it would be a 20 amp circuit breaker, so a 20 amp, three pole, 600 volt would be a 36020. Pretty simple, but it's nice to have that information. As you can see from a chart, we've got all different kind of configurations. There's one, two, and three pole. There's different lug configurations, and there's different mounting configurations. Also, we've got charts available. If you go to the link below, it'll take you to full-size charts of this you can download and look at. We've got the F frame, the K, the L, and the M frame, all the way up to 1,000 amps. So, a lot of good information there for you, but if you would, just check it out. And uh, as always, guys, thanks and God bless.